everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic, and I've just come back from London Comic Mart where I took a nice big stash of cash, a big bag, and my book of numbers to go and pick up some 50p bargains. Yes, everything you're about to see were 50p and under. Um, they all need to be rebagged and boarded. Some of them um, don't look too pretty in their bags, but I assure you, they're nice inside. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna kick off with my favorite part of the haul, the, the part that I was really happy to find, pick up, and as I've already said, all 50p each and that was a nice run of powers um, all three uh, two or three volumes I think the first um, part of this is um, the first volume so we've got number nine number ten Brian Michael Bendis Michael um, Oming that's number oh, oh, oh. Number 12, number 13, Twenty six, twenty seven, thirty two, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven. That was from volume one. Um, I've always wanted to get into Powers. It looked a really great series. Um, I would love to have them in the hardback um, um, omnibuses, but they're just really expensive. And for 50p each, it's cheaper to get it this way. Um, volume 2 from um, the Icon um, range, it's issue 2, issue 3. Issue four, five, six, seven, number eight, number nine. Love some of these covers on here. Number fourteen, oops, number fifteen, sixteen. 19, oops, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. This is when they um, started putting a, a thicker cover on. Adding more pages into it. 27, 28, 29, 30. Um, number one of volume three. And then finally um, the annual from 2008. So that's my powers haul. On to the DC comics from my uh, London Comic Mart haul. Um, this is a completely random stuff. Um, a few runs of um, issues that I'm just kind of trying to fill in, gaps in my collection, and just stuff that really took my eye and took my fancy. So we start off with um, Millennium issue one. It was the only one I had left to get. It's a strange old little mini series, um, but the collector in me had to finish it off and I was missing issue one. Um, New Gods from volume four, 
issue two. Filling in some gaps on my outsiders. Um, issue three. Issue 33. Ignore these stamp stickers on here. It wasn't 199, it was only 50p. Um, issue 37. Issue 45. Uh, filling in a couple of Superman Batman um, from that run. So I've got issue 33 and issue 46, which unfortunately, and I can have only got myself to blame, I managed to bend the cover. Idiot. Um, the Omega Men, issue 18, another little filler, filling in some gaps. Um, if Agent 42Q, Wednesday Serial, Matt, whatever you want to call yourself is watching, I got some more of the question. Um, issue two, issue three, issue four, and issue six. Um, if anybody had watched one of my retro comic rewinds a few weeks ago or maybe a week ago they'll have seen me review the um, question annual um, and it was part of a fables storyline crossover between green arrow um, uh, the question and I think it was Detective Comics. Uh, this is part two of it so I thought well why not I'll pick it up it's 50p. Um, just because I love Dungeons and Dragons and that kind of stuff. Um, Dragonlance, uh, the fantastic first issue um, from 1988. The Return of Doctor Fate, this just looked a little bit fun. Uh, managed to pick up issue one and issue two who, which I don't actually think is, no, it must be from another run. So that was a bit silly of me. Uh, this has been kind of on my radar. Um, Simon Dark, for, uh, written by Steve Niles, um, managed to pick up the first five issues of these. So one, two, three, four, and five set in um, Gotham. Uh, filling in some gaps for my 80s run of the Spectre. So we've got issue six, issue seven, issue eight, and issue 16. And from its run from the 90s, issue 10. Let's just move these out of the way. Finally, I think a uh, kind of run of various uh, Teen Titan titles. Um, this is issue three from 1984. Um, this is issue seven of the new Teen Titans. Bit gutted because I didn't notice it was a, a 15p. It was a Pence variant, if you want to call it that. Um, issue 18. Issue 26, 62 of Tales of the Teen Titans. Um, then the New Titans, issue 60, part of A Lonely Place of Dying crossover. Um, issue 62 of the New Titans. Issue 78 of the New Titans. And finally, issue 125, The Seas of the Zikaram, part five of five. And that is it for the DCs. Okay, we've had DC, it's time for uh, Marvel. Again, these are all kind of filling in gaps in uh, certain runs and just a few odds and ends um, that took my fancy. We begin with the giant size finale issue of Exiles, um, written at the time by Chris Claremont. So that's issue 100. Um, glad I found that. Um, I did pick up, and I hope it was issue two, because it's the only one I left behind. It looked familiar. Um, so Hulk Grey, issue one, issue four, issue five, 
and issue six of six, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale um, putting their their stamp on the early years of the Hulk. Couple of Daredevil to fill in a few gaps. We've got issue 323, part of the Fall from Grace storyline. And 327, part two of five of the Tree of Knowledge. I don't know why I hadn't got this, because um, I've got all the rest of them, but it was issue eight of eight of Secret Invasion, one of my favourite um, Marvel event storylines. Uh, Silver Surfer from, from volume three, 126 and 127. And annual number seven of the Silver Surfer. Found an Elf Quest issue 18. Always pleased to see these and pick them up as we go along. Wendy and Richard Pinney. Uh, Black Panther, the most dangerous man alive, took over from Daredevil. Uh, it continued to number as it would have been with Daredevil. I kind of dropped it um, not long after Black Panther kind of took over Hell's Kitchen for a while. Um, which was a bit silly because there was not a lot of issues left to go. But that's 523.1 and 527. Some great Francesca Francavilla um, artwork on the front there. Uh, most of this is all kind of X-related titles now. Um, again, filling in gaps. X-Men issue 70. Um, uh, what issue one in a two issue limited series, X-Men and Alpha Flight. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the second one, but I'm sure I will eventually. And Kenny X-Men issue 279. Um, I was saying to Dr. Monkeybot um, via Twitter today, um, I am trying to collect Uncanny X-Men, but only from issue 200 and above, even though I do have uh, a few under 200, but it's 200 and above that I'm trying to collect. Um, X-Factor, 111. Oh, another Uncanny X-Men, 215. Storm with her mohawk. Uh, Excalibur, issue 16. Issue 34. Issue 35. Issue 40, The Trial of Lockheed. Issue 48. Uh, number 51, and just like a numpty, I got two of them. And that is it for the Marvel. A small haul of Vertigo titles. Um, we kick off with Sandman Mystery Theatre from Matt Wagner. I've got quite a lot of the earlier issues um, of this, um, beginning with issue one. So it was nice to get a run of the later issues, starting with 21. Jumping up to issue 30, 31, 32, 34, 35. I just love the kind of 1920s feel of this Sandman run. 36, 37. 38, 39, 40, 41, 43, and issue 60, which finishes um, my run of a Sandman that I picked up today. Um, there wasn't a lot there, unfortunately, um, trying to fill in gaps for uh, The Changing Man, um, which originally started as DC comic, but was suggested for mature readers. That's issue nine. As we got on further, it changed to DC Vertigo. And um, that's issue 40, 44, 45. And that's all for that. 
Um, another uh, Milligan run only lasted eight issues. I was missing issues six and eight of Enigma. That's number six. And that was the final issue, number eight. Okay, we're moving on to Dynamite now. Um, one of um, my favourite runs um, for Dynamite is their Project Superheroes um, title, which ran over kind of like two volumes and had lots of kind of spin-offs. Um, this was uh, Chapter 2 Prelude, as you can see. Um, the rest of these have actually already got but these are the variant covers so for 50p i wasn't going to let them go so issue five which i managed to get two of though that one seems to say san diego comic-con international on the bottom i don't know if that makes a difference um issue five issue six Issue seven. Um, this was one of the uh, spin off characters from Project Superheroes, um, the Death Defying Devil. Uh, this is a free comic book day dynamite special issue. And he had his own spin off series, so issue one, issue two. Issue three, just love that cover. And issue four. And finally, I managed to pick up um, from the pages of Flash Gordon, uh, which I've almost completed from Dynamite. It's Merciless, The Rise of Ming, issue one. And finally, we've come to the end. Um, these, they're not really oddities as such. They're just things that don't really fit into any of the other categories that we've had so far. Um, we kick off with um, John Byrne and his OMAC series. Could have kicked myself because I could have sworn I only needed one more of these. And I looked at that cover and was like, I oh, don't recognise it. I'll pick it up. I hadn't got it. But then when I got home and checked, I'd realised I hadn't got book three either. I've only got book one and two, and book three was there. So for 50p, I was quite annoyed with myself. I should have just picked them all up, to be honest. Managed to find another issue of Planetary. Trying to complete that run after um, Scott and Tim's great rundown of it. Uh, when they were talking about it on Finally Designed. Uh, David Lapham Stray Bullets. I like to pick these up as and when I find them. Um, just kind of great slice of life stories, but with kind of obviously a criminal element to it. Um, wow, 50p for um, number 10 of V for Vendetta. And there's nothing wrong with this at all. It's a nice, clean copy. There's no dints. There's no creases. Um, I just grabbed that out of the box before anyone else found that. Um, this was a nice find. Um, Bernie Wrightson's Captain Stern, Running Out of Time, issue two of five from Kitchen Sink Comics. Um, I mean, just look at the cover alone is worth buying it for 50p. Um, look forward to seeing what's inside. Um, love Grendel. Grendel's one of my favourite um, characters um, and whenever I see any kind of oddities going around I pick them up. I'd not seen this before. Um, 50p, it was in the bag. Um, along with this, Grendel, Devil's Legacy. I've not heard of this one before from Dark Horse, their Maverick series, issue 6 of 12. Have to look into that. And finally, um, The Mice Templar. This is from Volume 1. Managed to find Issue 1 and Issue 5. It was a five-issue mini-series for Volume 1. And I've got the first part and the last part. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that haul. Um, the only question left really is, um, where do I really start reading them all? 